For our Econ and Biz segment this week, we look at one of South Korea's latest technologies. Our business correspondent An Song Jin is here to bring some insight into a technology that is already prevalent in various industries. Welcome, Song Jin. Good evening, Jungmin. Before we start, I want to ask you a question. How often do you cook at home, or do you even cook at home? Of course I do. I cook many times. And if you have the choice, would you leave cooking up to someone else? Or perhaps I should ask something else. Well, definitely I would uh, like give it a go. Now I ask you this question because robots are now becoming chefs. You may wonder what I mean by this. I visited a couple of places that really show how. The robots are taking over. At least in kitchens, they are. This middle school in Seoul, South Korea is the first to use robots in the process of cooking lunch. Rather than workers standing in front of steaming pots and pans, robots do it instead. Not only does it ensure consistency in taste and quality, but our chefs have also said that they are more satisfied as cooking has become more efficient and easier. Research has shown that being exposed to fumes in restaurant and cafeteria kitchens can lead to lung cancer. So the Seoul Metropolitan Office of Education introduced robots to improve the working environment for kitchen staff. These robots can rustle up various dishes such as soup, fried chicken and stir-fried vegetables. It's not just schools that are using them. Expressway rest areas are doing so as well. Robots here are a part of the autonomous process of putting the ingredients into a pan, cooking them on the stove and then pouring them into a bowl. For example, it uses its arm to stir the noodles at a certain pace and move them to a bowl. It can make more than 10 different types of dishes and up to 200 dishes in an hour. Since our working environment has become much more pleasant and convenient than before, it's much more preferable to have these robots. It's like a mutual relationship for us. If the trial is successful at this rest area, the Expressway Corporation is looking to bring the so-called robot chefs to other rest areas in South Korea. Robots are a key aspect of the growing food tech market. Data from market research and strategy consulting firm Immersion Research shows that the global food tech market is going to expand from 220.3 billion US dollars in 2019 to 342.5 billion dollars by 2027. The integration of robots in the food industry is expected to progress rapidly as it improves hygiene and quality in the kitchen. The problem is not that these robots are replacing people as workers, as the restaurant industry is already lacking in manpower. It's cooperation that's going to be needed. Well, Song Jin, it looks like we're going to see more robots in the restaurants in the future. Then. Um, the global food tech market is growing. How is South Korea looking to develop it further? Now, as the food industry is being further linked with technologies from the fourth industrial revolution, South Korea is definitely going to make more investments further moving on. First, the Food and Agriculture Ministry has pledged to increase the budget for food tech to $48.5 million this year. More specifically, it's planning to invest in R&D for various projects, not only for robots and AI, but also for plant-based products and smart processing technology, among others. Mm -hmm. And how are other countries integrating uh, robots into the restaurant industries? Countries outside of South Korea are also familiar with robots that are delivering food or assisting with food processing, such as sorting and cutting. What's interesting, though, is some companies are working on creating a similar robotic arm that basically replicates the movement of a human. It'd be capable of planning and creating a meal from scratch, suggesting dishes based on available ingredients and even plating the food. Isn't this amazing? Now gone are the days when we actually used to cook food and plan food ourselves. All right. Thanks for filling us in today, Sung Jin. Absolutely, Jungmin.